Hello my viewers, good day once again to you, all over for watching me this moment. Thank you for all your views, your subscriptions, your likes and your comments. They are amazing. Today we'll be having account bank reconciliation statement. This is a statement that is prepared to reconcile the difference between cash book balance and bank statement balance. Cash book is a book that is prepared by a firm to show cash transactions. Part that uh, a business holds with the bank is also prepared and kept in the cash book. But at the end of a period, the bank of a firm will send a statement showing the transactions that the business has done in that period, say one month. And in the business, another cash book will be prepared to show the engagement or the transactions of the business with the bank. That means normally the balance that the bank shows should be equal to the balance that the cash book of the business shows. Just like firm A keeps money with bank C. The statement at the end of the month by Bank C showing any balance should normally be equal to the balance that firm A will prepare in the cash book. But in the real sense, in reality, the balances are not usually the same. Does it mean the bookkeeper or the account clerk or the recorder has defrauded the business? Not really so, or not always. We will chart this in what we call bank reconciliation statement. We we'll prepare it to reconcile, to bring together whatever the differences that might have been, whatever might have caused the differences between the two books. The balance here should be equal to the balance in the cash book, but in Real sense as said earlier, there are causes of disagreements between cash book and bank statements, which include bank charges. Bank charges is amount that the bank will charge for keeping the money of the business with them until when the bank statement is sent to the business, it will not be known or shown in the cash book. Another cause of disagreement is standing order. That's an order by the firm on the bank to pay certain amount regularly on behalf of the business. That means it will not be shown in the cash book or the bank statement is sent to the business. Another cause of disagreement is dishonored check. There are checks that the business lodges in the bank, but are rejected for several reasons, the regular signature or uh, insufficient funds or for any other reason, be that as it may. Then you have uncredited checks and unpresented checks. Uncredited checks are checks that the firm lodges in the bank. But because of date differences, let's say on the 30th of a month, the firm lodges the check with the bank. In the cash book, it will be shown. But if for any unexpected delay with the bank, maybe there are a series of uh, checks locked in the same day, and the checks will not be processed the same day, and it spills over to the following day, which, for instance, is supposed to be first day of the other month. That means the bank statement of the previous month will not show that in the bank statement, but the cash book will show it since the money was lodged on the 30th of the month, but the bank credited it on the 1st of another month. That's another cause of transfers. So the checks are lodgement of checks that have been given to the suppliers of the firm or creditors of the firm. But for one reason or the other, they have not taken the checks to the bank. 
That means it will appear in the cash book, but it will not appear in the bank statement. These are some of several causes of disagreement between cash book balance and bank statement balance. Now, how do you reconcile the differences? That is what we'll do next. There are two steps you undergo to reconcile the differences between cash book balance and, and bank statement balance. One is to adjust the cash book or update the cash book. Cash book updating is done by looking at items that appear in the bank statement but are not yet in cash book. Example is bank charges. Bank charges would normally appear in bank statement, but will not yet appear in cash book until you prepare updated cash book. So bank charges is money going out of the business account. So it has to be in the right hand side, the credit side. We did that in our trial balance and debt clip acronym in the previous videos. Please, you can watch that trial balance again or double entry system. You understand that when payment is being made, account is written at the right hand side, the credit side. So bank charges will be in the credit side. Another is dishonored check. There are checks that are were well lodged. But for irregular reasons, they are rejected. That means they have to be credited. Why should they be credited? Because when initially you lodge the money to the bank, you assume that money comes into your bank account, you must have debited. Now that it is rejected, you have to credit it back to cancel the amount you had initially debited. Another cause for disagreement is standing order. Standing order means the bank had paid some amounts for you on your behalf or based on the order you gave to the bank. So it will appear in the bank statement but not yet in the cash flow. So you have to record it in the credit side. Now, if this is just all that the difference that we have. That means we have to close this account. The total of this side minus the total of this side is called balance carried down. Assuming this is five thousand dollars, and the addition of these three is three thousand five hundred dollars. 5,000 minus 3,500 is 1,5. That means your balance carried down will be 1,5. That is the amount that the cash book shows as the balance. So you bring it down. Now, that is step one. 